Okay, in this video, let's take a look at Georgia Hall's golf swing. She's been up and down a little bit this year, but over the past couple seasons, really gaining prominence on the world stage. 26 years old, a little different move, amazing putter. So let's take a look at what she does here. So first of all, we can take a look. Obviously, this uh, shot we're looking at here is not exactly for the lines of the swing because the camera angle is slightly off, but we can see what I want to highlight, which is the top of the swing. So great setup position, love the angles. Athletic without being overly flexed anywhere, ready to move. Gets that club up there to the top. In good position, slightly more open club face than some players. And then she does this move, which is, you know, it's a unique move for her where she really is routing that thing over the top with the first movements being arms and shoulders sort of bringing the club up over this direction, which is highly unusual. Any of you who have watched a lot of my videos or other analysis videos always see these clubs shallowing more for these great players. Hers actually goes over the top slightly. Extreme width, which is great. And of course, as she's coming down, even though the angle is a bit steep in the start and the transition, she is still able to bow this wrist down. Now, if she couldn't bow that wrist to get the left hand in position, left wrist in position, she wouldn't have any club face stability at all. She does get it in position coming down. And at this point here, she is slightly riding the club off the plane in this direction. This shot actually did go left into the trees. Not wildly into the trees, but certainly ran in under the trees there. As she gets sort of up and out of the shot. Little flip at the bottom. And that's where the club face control really hurts her uh, with her golf swing. This clip here, you can really see the club face getting a little bit open as she takes the club up there. As she rolls it. The arms kind of roll it out of this position here. A lot of players would be more face closed at this position at this position going back or square to the plane. She's more open. Lifts it up there. Not a bad position at the top. Certainly with the driver, left wrist better here than some of the iron shots. Club face in pretty good position, but now she's going to do that up and over move. But even so, as she does it, left hand staying in control. And we can see that great position there it does give her some club face control because it is bowed down but anytime the club has to work over and then under that's the tough one to control Call it a steep shallow move and it's so difficult to control on a week in week out basis because sooner or later that club is going to ride off the plane you're going to get thin shots pushes and hooks she makes up for it with athleticism creativity and of course an amazing short game Case in point here, she hits it left, then she gets that club up, gives it a quick punch under the tree, and it's up there about 15 feet from the pin. So very athletic, great imagination, and also, like I said, amazing short game. This putt here after the recovery from the trees, left hand low stroke, we'll take a little bit better look at that in a minute. There's her 25 footer, no problem up and down from under the trees. Another great example of the shot maker, driver off the ground, 270 plus yards to the green, or the pin rather, and that up and over move. That's some confidence to get that driver off the ground. And she did, this ball ending up right up here, short right of the green. Like I said, a fearless player and very creative. Like a lot of great putters, they have a sort of a tidy stroke I think the days of the really long sweeping strokes like Justin Leonard or that type of stroke is probably not, but we'll see that for quite a while, I imagine. But that left hand low stroke really gives you the ability to move the handle forward through impact, control the club face, and really keep things working very simply through impact. She has a pretty short, compact stroke, but you'll rarely see her follow through uh, making a long follow through rather because it, you do sort of lose feel you want to have that handle working just moving just ever so slightly forward so that hopefully at the point of impact the handle's going about the same speed as the club head and then that gives you that control at the bottom there this one here solheim cup you can see left hand low even has the left fing index finger down the shaft same great setup 
once again, very simple stroke, almost similar to like a Brent Snedeker where the hands come through first, but then the energy just sort of stops to allow the putter just to release, pouring it right in the center. Okay, one last look at the swing from this angle. Also, obviously, Soham Cup. And we can see this sort of abbreviated follow through. A little shorter backswing, sort of chopping off the finish, probably trying to keep it under the wind. But once again, that sort of from the UK shot maker mentality, playing in different conditions. And I just look at her as a competitor. She's going to do whatever it takes to play her best, score her best. May not be a classic technique, but she has a competitive competitiveness and short game and never give up attitude to be great. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video, Georgia Hall. Just a quick reminder, if it's your first time to the channel or you've not subscribed yet, please do so. If you like the video, please hit the like button as well. That really helps the channel grow. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.